Pole vaulter Andrew Douglas is one of those talented young athletes who has been nominated for the Junior Sportsman of the Year at the Hampshire and Isle of Wight Awards later this month. The 16-year-old is currently recovering from a stress fracture in his lower tibia, but he is now back training with the view to one day compete at the Olympic Games. I've got a long-term goal of Tokyo 2020. Um, obviously, that's a massive goal. That would be that would complete the whole that everything in pole vault, um, in my opinion. Um, but just to be able to say that you're an Olympian is incredible. Um, so I will be watching this year, and um, hopefully next time that might be me. To fulfil his ambition of becoming an Olympian, Douglas is expecting to have to work hard and really dedicate himself to his sport. A lot of work, a hell of a lot of work. Um, lots of training sessions, a lot of work close with even with my coach and um, some of my other coaches. Uh, as well as dedication, you know, it's kind of getting to the age where a lot of social things are happening, so do I want to continue pole vaulting and I think just continuing to do what I'm doing, keep working hard. Douglas finished last season ranked at number one for the under 17's age category and he won the English Schools Championship in Gateshead, the most important national competition of the year. To help him do this, he received support and grant funding from the Hampshire County Council Talented Athlete Scheme, which Douglas believes has been crucial in allowing him to compete at his best. So the HTAS has mm -hmm. provided me with countless things. They've provided me with funding, which has allowed me to buy the latest and best equipment for Pole Vault, um, which meant that I've competed to my best, um, especially last year, bought three new poles, and poles aren't cheap. HTAS managed to buy, the, buy those for me through the funding. Um, as well as working with Stonehead University, they've offered me uh, free physio whenever I want, emergency appointments whenever I need, as well as strength and conditioning coaching with uh, a very, very, very over-qualified um, coach at Stonehead University, James Grant. Um, worked closely with him doing strength and conditioning, which has helped massively with all training aspects. The workshops have really allowed me to um, interact with younger and older people, um, especially about my sport, and to be able to sp spread the word as it is, um, to be able to kind of promote myself and promote the sport. Um, I like to think everyone that competes in a sport is an ambassador for that sport, and I've really been able to spread that through the Hampshire Hampshire Athletic Scheme, given lots of opportunities to do that. So. For now, Douglas has his sights set on the Youth European Championships later on in 2016, but he knows he has some work to put in before then. My main goal for this year is to get to the uh, European Championships, uh, Youth European Championships, uh, to compete for GB. That would be my first GB outing. As it is. Um, however, I have got to jump quite a bit higher to get the standard to go for GB because it's so competitive. Um, but that's something that I'm looking to do this year. So that's the big aim. The Hampshire and Isle of Wight Awards will be taking place on Thursday 17th of April.